Hey Aquarius, hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to start off your reading with some oracle messages so I'll get into the tarot. For those of you who are interested in a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. Also, for those of you interested in learning how to read tarot, my training is down below. I am offering $20 love spreads as well, so the information for that is on the community tab. Okay, that one wanted to go. So we have Shady and Losing Sleep. So I'm just looking at that. I definitely feel that somebody has not shown their true intentions, shown, shown their true uh, feelings here. This person definitely could be wearing a mask in a, this situation. So losing sleep, worried, replaying events, overthinking. So this person's thinking a lot about you here. And for some of you, this could be you, but I'm kind of getting that. I'm getting the this person, I feel like they're reflecting on something that they did. Uh, maybe they were acting shady here in the past. We have too late at the bottom of the deck. Maybe they're worried that it's too late for something, too late to apologize, um, too late to come forward, too late for something. Funeral, yeah, for a lot of you, you may have um, uh, just ended things with this person. It makes me think of like the death energy here. Ended things with this person officially. For some of you, it definitely could be like divorce type of thing. I'm also getting with funeral and shocking news. Unfortunately, you may find out um, about something here about someone that you know. Um, or there could be shocking news regarding a death. What are the messages for Aquarius? Yeah, closing the cycle. Now, for a lot of you, it's just going to be closing the cycle. Now, we do have drinking, toxic lifestyle. For a lot of you, you could be... Um, ending something toxic that could be a cycle as well it doesn't necessarily have to be um, a person but I do feel like for a lot of you you're just cutting out toxic things toxic people toxic behaviors out of your life so we do have married and blocked so you may have blocked someone that you were married to or were in a commitment um, with again I did pick up on divorce for some of you you could be um, getting a divorce here now I do feel like with that marriage card as well I mean the surrounding cards definitely are um, suggesting that there was some sort of editing but for some of you this could be a new beginning as well for some of you may be getting married or getting engaged very soon Sorry, what are the messages for Aquarius unfrozen Find strength in your weaknesses and overcome challenges with courage. So, yeah, for a lot of you, you are moving forward. Maybe if you felt stuck or stagnant for a long time here, I definitely see uh, for a lot of you, you, things are finally moving forward for you. You may are, like see your uh, manifestations coming in. We do have addiction here. So for some of you, you could be overcoming addictions. Again, I was looking at that toxic lifestyle card here. Uh, for some of you, you could be doing better as far as that goes. We do have power struggle here um desire for recognition or the need to assert your authority over others so somebody could be dealing with um, a power struggle type of energy here whether this is you or your person for a lot of you this could be your person like maybe they maybe there's someone that likes to be in control here maybe there's someone that like likes to have the upper hand maybe they don't feel that they have that with you with that shady card maybe this person because of that they were acting shady or acting some type of way we have self self doubt somebody here could definitely be dealing with some self doubt um here i do feel like for a lot of you, you could be changing your perspective on a lot of things here as well we have tunnel vision so I'm getting two things with this card. I do feel like for a lot of you, you could have tunnel vision on your success here. Um, for a lot of you, you're not allowing anything or anyone to get in your way. Um, and I do feel like the person that you're dealing with could, or the person that you were dealing with for a lot of you, uh, maybe was resisting change here. So maybe they had tunnel vision in the sense to where um, they were just allowing kind of their thoughts, like negative thoughts or negative emotions just kind of consume them, uh, keeping them stuck here. And I feel like with this unfrozen card, you... I mean, you decided to free yourself from that stuck, that stagnant energy, and we have resistance. So yeah, I'm definitely getting here that there's some sort of resistance when it comes to um, you and this person's connection here, because I feel like whoever I'm picking up on today, you're definitely um, learning how to not to be so resistant to things. I definitely feel I'm picking up on someone that is closing toxic cycles um, just in general. Spirit, what are the messages for Aquarius? So we got the Seven of Swords. 
coming out here. So yeah, again, that shady energy. That's definitely Seven of Swords energy here. Something is not as it seems. We have the Ace of Swords. So right after the Seven, we got the Ace. So the Ace, this is getting clarity. So whatever has been hidden in the dark, whatever this person has lied about, whatever has just in general, you have not been seeing clearly, you are about to see very clearly. And I feel like due to this clarity or due to whatever, you know, is about to come out, we will clarify the cards to see maybe what this is. I feel like it's going to lead to some sort of stable, um, some sort of stability here for you with the Ace of Pentacles. I do feel like for a lot of you, this could even be an epiphany. Maybe um, for some of you, you could be like, uh, creatives maybe you're like an artist or you know something like that maybe you've had creative block here and I do feel like there's going to be some sort of idea or some sort of inspiration that you get or something's going to click here to where um, it's going to lead to some sort of breakthrough financially no I do feel like for a lot of you this could also be you getting the truth about someone again with that shady card there definitely has been somebody here that has not been completely honest with you uh, we do have the strength card here for some of you could be dealing with a Leo but I do feel like somebody we got the Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. You could be seeing Ten, Ten. Something's really going to work out for you. I'm feeling financially and emotionally here. So you definitely could be getting like your finances together. But also at the same time, I feel like there's going to be some sort of really um, amazing connection coming in here for you. Now with the Knight of Pentacles and the Strength. Makes me feel like somebody has held back for a very long time here. Go, kind of going back to that resistance energy. Um, This could be this other person. With the Knight of Pentacles, I mean, it's a sure thing. But the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving card in the deck. So I feel like something is finally going to come together here for you. Uh, for some of you, it's been a slow rise to success. But I do see it coming here for you. For some of you, it's going to be someone coming forward that has taken a very long time. So... We do have the Tower card here. Again, major change happening for you very soon. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. We have the Emperor and the King of Wands. You know, these two have been coming out together a lot for me lately. Somebody really is finding the courage to take action here. Just looking at that lion um, in these images, it makes me feel that somebody is ready to pounce or somebody is ready to uh, finally just go for what it is that they want. And that's very King of Wands and Emperor energy. They know what they want. And the thing about the Emperor, they know what they want. So I feel like this person knows what they want now and they're ready to take action here. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. Yeah, they've held back for a while with that Four of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Swords energy here for Aquarius? The Eight of Cups. So the thing is with this Seven of Swords energy, maybe you saw it coming. I'm just looking at the moons in these cards. I definitely am picking up on somebody that is very intuitive. Um, maybe you you didn't like how this person was moving. You knew they were shady. I mean, it's interesting that this was the first Oracle card and this was the first Tarot card. Somebody has absolutely been acting shady towards you and you turned your back on them. You walked away. Maybe you already saw it coming. You're like, nope, I'm not getting into that bullshit. The King of Swords. I mean, it's you can't get shit by the King of Swords. I mean, you saw this shit coming. Why is the Ace of Swords energy? And maybe you even, I'm just getting a very high perspective here. Maybe you even know why this person is doing this. But just because you know why doesn't mean you're going to tolerate it. So I'm definitely getting that energy here. So we do have the Knight of Pentacles here as well. I mean, I feel like at this point, you've pulled back your energy he could be dealing with the earth sign. The Knight of Pentacles has come out twice. Um, it makes me feel it's taken this person a while to realize something. Maybe you realized it immediately, but it's taken this person. They've just got clarity on this, like the sun card. I feel like this person has just got some clarity. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here with the Ace of Swords? They just realized something. The Ten of Wands. Okay, maybe they realized that they were sabotaging this. The Knight of Cups has flipped over um, in the deck here. Again, I do feel like this person wants to come forward with some sort of communication, some sort of offer even. The Knight of Cups is a proposal of some sort. So um, I do feel like there's going to be some sort of offer coming your way, but this person may have realized how they were making things harder than it needed needed to be. The Ten of Wands is definitely carrying a lot of burdens. It's feeling overwhelmed. And it's like, now that you've kind of taken yourself out of it, you've pulled back your energy, it's really given this person, if this is a connection we're talking about here, for a lot of you it is with that Ten of Cups, it's really given this person like time to think about and reflect on how they've handled the situation with you. And I do feel like it's also given them clarity as to why you've pulled back your energy. I don't feel like you had to say anything to this person. Just you taking the action. This person has time to reflect. And now they're feeling the Three of Swords. 
Um, I definitely feel the Three of Swords is not you. Maybe they were filling, maybe you were filling this before. Now they're filling it now. Why is the Ten of Pentacles energy here? I mean, I'm getting that you dodged a bullet. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. There's some sort of breakthrough when it comes to your finances. Like I definitely feel for a lot of you, you could be attracting a lot of money right now. Your manifestations are coming in. I'm just looking at that. It's kind of magical energy here. A lot of you are manifesting. And again, there's somebody here that wants to offer their love. You could be dealing with a water sign, but it's like, I feel like I'm just getting like uh, the tables, like, um, you know, the tables of turn type of energy here. Maybe before you were trying to offer love, they weren't they weren't paying attention. They were too focused on, you know, things that have gone wrong. Maybe this person was even drinking a lot, you know, something like that. And now I feel like the tables have turned here. This person's going to want to come forward. And for some of you, you are going to reject this person. But like, I don't know, for a lot of you, you definitely have your guard up now when it comes to this. But this person is very clear. Um, they've gotten very clear on what it is that they want. And they've gotten very clear on why you didn't respond to how they were coming at you. Why is the strength card here? I don't know why I'm very drawn to that sheep in this card. Give me something about sheep. Maybe somebody has like a sheep stuffed animal, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, I never really look at that, but I'm very drawn to that um, right now. So and we do have the Six of Cups energy here, clarifying the strength card. For some of you, this is going to be someone from the past um, that wants to come back. It could be a Leo or a Cancer from the past that wants to reach out to you. Why is the Six of Cups here with the strength card? The Six of Pentacles. Yeah, maybe somebody wants to make things right. They want to put in more effort, more energy into the connection. I do feel like you're somebody that gets a lot of attention, whether you're aware of it or not. I just feel like, like this person's just here kind of doing their thing, not really paying attention, but a lot of people are watching. You could have multiple offers coming your way as well. Why is the Knight of Pentacles energy here? The Nine of Swords. Yeah, I mean, this person, they feel, they feel like you've disconnected from them. For a lot of you, you have. Um, but they're really feeling it and they're in the nine of swords right now, thinking about this a lot, or like just feeling this, thinking about this. And they've been, I feel like they've been in this nine of swords for a while because this is clarifying the knight of pentacles. Give me more on that nine of swords. I mean, they're way overthinking about this connection. I mean, I feel like they realize that they've made a mess that they have to clean up. Yeah, the sun card again, they've just got clarity on this situation, is kind of what I'm getting. Like, I'm just hearing late to the party. Like, I feel like you you saw this um, from a mile away. And this person is now getting, just now getting clarity here. Let's see. Why is the Ten of Cups? And I just keep hearing they understand. If you cut this person off, they've taken some time to look at how they've treated you. And they don't blame you. It's kind of what I'm getting here. So now they don't really know how to come back from this. Because they do want to come back to this. And I do feel like with this tower, um, of course, you will clarify to see what this is about. But I feel like this person is going to surprise you here. Oh, why is the Ten of Cups energy here? Yeah, the Knight of Swords. There's going to be some sort of communication that comes in that makes you very happy. For some of you, this is going to be a reconciliation. Um, but I feel like this person is going to come at you more confidently. Yeah, we do have the Temperance card and the Five of Pentacles. So I do feel like regardless, this person wants to heal this connection with you. Um, at the risk of being rejected. Because you may not want to go for this anymore. Because again, I feel like... The tables have turned. They rejected you. So now they're coming back with these shiny pinnacles. And you're like, I don't know, for a lot of you, you could be very hesitant here with this person. So with this, um, with the temperance card, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Why is the five of pinnacles here? They don't want you to abandon them. I do Again, they're coming to you with some sort of offer. This person may buy you a gift as well. Just like looking at those pinnacles and maybe something physical that this person brings to you. Why is the tower card here? I mean, I just keep hearing that they see you doing better. And this can be more than just this person. Again, with that six of wands energy, you're just doing your thing and people are watching. So I do feel like a lot of people are seeing your glow up here. Um, they're seeing you move forward. They're seeing you, um, you know, I'm just getting breakthrough. Like, again, you're like leaving a lot of toxic cycles. For some of you, you're um, really working on addiction issues here. Like, whatever it is, people see your glow up and I want to say strength as well people see your strength why is the tower card here I just heard it's very inspiring as well I do feel like you could be inspiring a lot of people right now kind of like leading leading by example why is the tower card here yeah the emperor somebody's gonna surprise you and I feel like ooh, the empress at the bottom of the deck wow yeah for some of you you're about to come in contact with your divine counterpart for some of you, you may already know who this is 
um, for some of you, this is someone coming in, but it's going to really surprise you because this person is entering their emperor energy. I mean, I've been channeling for Aquarius for a long time. You've been entering your empress energy. For a lot of you, you are here. You are maintaining your empress energy. You are here. Um, this person, again, late to the party is kind of what I'm getting with that. Why is the emperor card here? I mean, I feel like it's going to surprise you how confident, yeah, the king of wands, same cards coming out. Again, those two cards have been coming out together a lot. Someone is ready to take action. Aries energy. For some of you, there could be an Aries here. The star. They know exactly what they want. They've done the self-reflection with this judgment card. And I feel like it's going to surprise you because not only is this person going to come forward, but I feel like they're going to offer you something valuable. Like you see, those pentacles are shiny. And it doesn't have to be material, but for a lot of you, it could be. It's going to be special, and I do feel like for a lot of you as well, it's going to surprise you how confident this person comes to you, because I do feel like in the beginning, again, you saw this from a mile away. You understood why this person was doing what they were doing. You weren't going to tolerate it, but you understood it. Maybe you knew that this person had some issues. You knew this person had some insecurity issues. It is going to surprise you how confident this person comes to you. They've done a lot of healing, just, and I want to say in this short time even, they've done a lot of healing. Why is the King of Wands here? page of cups i mean it may surprise you that this person comes to you with some emotion and that is crazy to say in an aquarius reading because we definitely don't necessarily wear our heart on our sleeves all the time so this person i feel like they were cold with even you for some of you could be dealing with another aquarius or somebody with strong air in their chart but i feel like this person was just straight up cold before and like we can deal with cold energy but like this person was cold so it may surprise you how emotional this person comes to you. It might, it might catch you off guard a little bit. Uh, but you're going to know that they're being honest. You're going to feel it. I mean, because with the emperor, they're, they're coming to you very matter of fact. But at the same time, they are going to show some emotion here. Uh, some of you can be dealing with the Pisces. I am drawn to that fish there. Spirit, so what are the zodiac signs for Aquarius? Aquarius. Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius again, Cancer, Virgo, and Libra. So I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. If you'd like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. Also, for those of you interested in learning how to read tarot, my training is down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.